Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're hungry, starving for the latest automotive news and reviews, which is perfect because that's exactly what we do here at AutoGuide.com. Precisely, Luke. And since you're hankering for some four-wheeled excitement, here's what's on the menu, presented, of course, by our most emaciated staff members. That would, that would be us. The year is drawing to a close, which means that it's time for our annual Car of the Year competition. And it's so good, we're sure you're going to eat it up. You know, Luke, I had a cracker for breakfast. You ate the whole thing? Are you calling me fat? Anyway, here's the skinny on our five finalists. You know, my BMI is still less than yours. You know, we have driven so many amazing cars this year, Luke. It was really tough for us at AutoGuide.com to narrow that down to just five finalists. Absolutely. But we put in the overtime, we burned the midnight oil, and we got it down to just five vehicles. And those cars are the Hyundai Genesis sedan. You've got the Volkswagen GTI, the Subaru WRX STI, the Audi A3, and the one we're in right now. Of course, that's the 2015 Mustang. And as I'm sure everybody knows, this car heralds Ford selling 50 years of the Mustang, which is really sort of remarkable, but you're a few years my senior, Craig, so why don't I turn it over to you? Yeah. You tell me what impresses you about this Yeah, car. I know. I voted for Helen Keller when she ran. But anyway, this is a Mustang tried and true 2050 model. Looks like a Stang. It's aggressive. It's a classic American pony car, but it's also updated. It's modern looking as well. And if this car of the year competition were a beauty contest, Mustang would drive away. It would not be a contest. This thing is stunning. I won't fight you on that. But you know, I think we really should talk about some of the technical updates yeah. because that's really what makes this car so special. I mean, for example, this is the first time that the Mustang has had an independent rear suspension standard across the entire product line. Now, of course, you can still get the base V6 and you can get the amazing Coyote V8, which I know I'm a huge fan of. Oh, I the think 5.0 would be the one I absolutely absolutely down. hands down but that's not what we're driving today and for very good reason because it's not really the biggest news because this time around the mustang is also being sold with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine exactly it's a 2.3 liter eco boost engine puts out 310 horsepower 320 pound feet of torque and those may not sound like terribly uh potent numbers but they move this car pretty well it's, it's surprising quick. it pulls yeah. and you know one of the really fantastic things about it is not only does the engine have lots of torque that you can use to kind of pull yourself through hills, but the independent rear suspension ought to make it a more trackable vehicle because it should mean that the car should be able to carry much more speed through corners. It should make it more track capable, more of a sports car than a muscle car, which is really significant. So you've got independent rear suspension, you've got gorgeous exterior styling, you've got a new fuel efficient and powerful EcoBoost engine, and all of this technology is, I think, really going to help this car appeal to global customers because don't forget Mustang is going around the world for 2015. It's going to be something of a cultural ambassador. Which right? makes it our representative to the rest of the world. Amen. Go America.